Um, so we are going to start by in just introducing ourselves. Um, you can either, we'll just write it in the chat. Um, so the four of us that are here to facilitate this for y'all will introduce ourselves um, and then you all can go ahead and write in the chat. So we're going to say our names, our pronouns, um, and something we're excited for for the summer. So I can start. Um, my name is Shosh. I um, work for Tavor year round running. Um, um, we have a program for high schoolers called SEDEC. So I facilitate that program. Um, and I'll also be at camp this summer working with the Hotrimo. So the kids going into sixth and seventh grade. Um, and what I'm most excited for the summer, I'm excited to be by the water. It's been really hot this past week, so I've been thinking about the lake. Um, okay, I'm gonna popcorn Miriam. Hi guys, I'm Miriam. I use she, her, her pronouns. Um, I'm gonna be working also with Coach Tremo this year. I'm super excited. And I am most excited for just like crazy fun and just like really silly and fun times. So popcorn Gaby. Hi, I'm Gaby. I use he, him pronouns, and I'll be working with the Amelima for third through fifth graders. Um, and I'm really excited to see all of the beautiful, sunny, green places at camp. And I will popcorn Renee. Hello, my name is Renee. Um, I use she, her, her pronouns. I'll be working in the meat bath. Um, I'll be making y'all all the food. Um, and I'm super looking forward to um, Recoud, which is our dancing on Shabbat. All right, back to you, Shosh. Yes. Um, okay, so feel free to type in the chat. We'll wait a minute or so. You can just type your name, your pronouns, and say anything you're excited for for the summer. And then we can, we'll go ahead and get started. So Panina's excited to swim in the lake. Um, yes, I am also. Clara is excited, also excited to go swimming. Lots of people excited to go swimming. Yeah, we have, so at camp we have a, there we have a small lake and a pool. So lots of opportunity to swim. Hannah's excited. Oh, Lila's excited swimming and getting dirty. Oh, definitely. That will happen at camp. And Hannah is excited to meet new people. Yes, yes, lots of new people. Um, we'll give it just another minute or so for other people that want to introduce themselves. So Julia, um, is excited to meet the animals. Very fun. Yes. Specifically, okay, Lila, well, specifically in this pool. We have a nice pool. Um, okay, so feel free to keep, okay. Aubreen and Andre, nice to meet you both. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and then we can get started. Um, but feel free to keep introducing yourselves in the chat. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about uh, Camp Hebrew. So these are words that we use um, at camp um, that you hear. We have like a loudspeaker that you'll hear it um, and also when we make announcements and stuff like that. Um, so we're just gonna talk through some of the most common words that we use. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to write it in the chat or use like the hand, the hand raise thing, or you can just unmute yourself and ask 
and we will we will answer. Um, okay, so I believe I'm passing it to Miriam. All right, everybody. So welcome to our Camp Hebrew Zoom. We're so excited to have you, and we're so excited to, to you guys to have an awesome time this summer. So first off, we want to talk about camp activities. So we have a whole bunch of activities we do at camp. And we did this loosely based on where it will fit in the day, but it might be a little different this year. So we always start the day off by Hikan Soup, which is our flagpole time. So everyone comes to the flagpole for the start of the day and it's a super fun and kind of crazy sometimes time just to see everybody and get ready for an awesome day. And then after that, we have Avodah, which is our work time. So at the start of camp, you'll pick a work group to work with and you might be cutting vegetables, you might be clearing trails and you're just helping camp to be a better place, which is super fun. And then we have Pish, which is our ed educational activity time by your age group. So you'll meet with your age group and you'll talk about something educational related. You might be talking about, um, I don't know, we have a lot of, there are a lot of really cool different topics that we'll be talking about this summer, I'm sure. And next we have Zman Kharash, which is our new time. So it's a time that people learn different skills. It can be run by campers or counselors. We have our big board you can pick from. So making friendship bracelets or maybe learning some of a different language or something. There are always really cool things you can pick. And we have Menu Kha, which is our rest time, which is honestly sometimes my favorite part of the day. So you get to hang out in your living area and just have some, get them, you get the mail, you can have some time to rest, take a nap if you want to. Uh, we also have kibud, which is our snack time. So whether it's pudding or ants on a log, there's always some really good options and I look forward to that every day too. Um, we also have chugim, which is something you sign up for at the start of the session as well. So it's like a special interest group. So you could get one that's like game show themed that every different uh, time you meet, you're doing a different, um, different different type of game show and doing that or you could be doing I had one one year called dirty jobs where we just did the craziest things so sometimes we'd go and we'd get paint all over us and swim the lake or we'd go we'd have a giant mud puddle and play in that that was super fun um also we have shira which is our singing time so you can learn all the different songs we sing at camp after meals and at other different times of the day too we also have chofesh which is free time so it's time that you can go just kind of explore camp. And if you want to go to the Chava or garden, or if you want to just go hang out in your living area. Uh, we also have Zman Sport, which is our sports time. So once again, we have our big board and you can choose to swim it. You can play soccer. You could do even ultimate Frisbee a lot of the years. Uh, and then at the very end of the night, we have Toknu Erev, which is our evening activity. So the whole camp gets together and sometimes it'll be a scavenger hunt or sometimes it'll be, it'll be in different like teams and you're trying to figure out riddles and stuff and it's a really fun and kind of silly time. So one of our words that you'll hear a lot at camp is sevet. So it's sevet means staff. So that's all the counselors put together. So everyone in the mitbach, our kitchen, or everyone's working with kids or also the specialists. Madrachimo, another word, it's kind of similar to tzavet. So those are, those mean that, sorry, that means counselors in Hebrew. And the singular of that would be madrachol. Chanichimo means campers. And then the singular for that is chanichol. Kutza is going to be, it means group in Hebrew. And it's also, Sometimes people will use shikfa to mean the same thing. So it means your age group, the group you're hanging out with. So here are our different kusa or shikfas. So the youngest are the chalatimon amilimo. So the third, fourth, and fifth graders. And also you can see in the parentheses there what each of those words mean in English. The chotrimo are the rowers and they are the sixth and seventh graders. The bony moat are the builders, they're the eighth graders. The garni moat are the seeds, and they're the ninth graders. And then the bogri moat, the graduates, are 10th graders. Kadima and MBT means forward, uh, and they're the 11th graders. And then there are the madats, which are the counselors in training at camp, who are our 12th graders. And now I'm going to be hang handing the mic over to Gaby. 
Hi, I'm Gaby, and I'm going to be telling you what all the names of all of our wonderful places at camp are. Um, so first we have the Bayit, and Bayit in Hebrew is house. This is where the Sabbath, our staff, goes to plan all of the awesome activities that we leave for you. And no kids are allowed, so unfortunately you will not be going inside. Um, and then we have the Mark, or the Mirpa which is our health center where the nurses are and where you'll go if you're sick or hurt or, yeah. Um, and then there's the Hadar Ochel and Hadar in Hebrew is, is room and Ochel is food. So literally it means the food room and as you might expect, it's where we eat food and And there's the Mitria, which means umbrella in Hebrew, and is a little covered space where we do a lot of fun activities at camp and can use for anything that you need to and where you can go to be outside when it's raining. Then there's the Hof, which means beach in Hebrew, but at camp we use it to talk about the lake and the beach all as one. Then there's also the bricha, which means pool and is the pool. <laughs> we also have our Beto, which is short for Beit Omanut, which means the house of art. And that's where we do all the arts and crafts and where we keep the paints and the markers and all the things that you'll need for all your arts and crafts needs. There's also the Himu, which is short for Heder Musica, which is the music room, because Hadar, Heder or Hadar is room. Um, and then that's where all the instruments and the recording equipment are kept and where you can go to play music or where you can get instruments for things like Musical, which are, are musical performances that we have every week. There's uh um okay so this is the chava so the chava means farm in hebrew so this is where we grow all our fruit and veggies and i know someone said that they were excited for the animals so this is also where the animals will be so we usually have chickens in the past we've had goats um i think that's mostly the animals that we've had um Okay, so this is the MoMA. So it stands for Moadon Mahana. And the, um, it means camp. It means camp clubhouse in Hebrew. So this is, it's the main air conditioned building that we have. So we use it um, on really hot days or just in general when um, we need activities will be in this building right here. So Ohel means tent in Hebrew. So this is where sixth graders and up sleep. So if you're in Chotrimo and up, you will sleep in an Ohel. So it looks, it looks like this, it's canvas, big canvas tent. Um, and the, this is a Tzrif. So Tzrif means cabin in Hebrew. So if you're in Amelimo or Halutzimo, so third through fifth grade, um, and our kitchen staff and a lot of the specialists sleep in Tzrifim. So Tzrifim is Tzrif, uh, plural. Um, so a Shetach, um, this means living area. So this is, so if you live in an Ohel, in a tent, or a Tzrif in a cabin, this is where you you'll have like your area just for your age group. So it depends where you are, um, how old you are, but you'll be in different parts of Mahanev camp. So the ROM call is the speaker system that we use. So um, this is where you'll hear a lot of the announcements and a lot of the words we said. Um, so we, we use Hebrew on the ROM call. Um, so these are time times that we that we um, you would hear over the rom call. So we have chamesh dako, which is five minutes, eser dako, which is ten minutes, reva sha'a, which is fifteen minutes, 
Chatsi Sha'a, which is 30 minutes, and Akshav means now. And Kulam Tavo means everybody come to. Um, so we're, we're also gonna review some of this stuff after. So no worries if you, um, so I'm gonna pass it to Miriam, back to Miriam, and we will, we're gonna do some review together. Alrighty, so here is a link to on a website called Blue Gate. It's Cast and Kahoot, if you've ever played that in school or any anything outside of school too. So if everyone can pull up these, this website, so just the Blue Gate slash play. If you search Blue Gate, I'm sure it'll show up for Google, hopefully. And I'm going to share my screen and I, one sec, will start this Blue Gate. Should be really fun to review all this stuff. Can you share the site and chat? Yep, one sec. I see a very cute cat on, on the screen. <laughs> Um, what's the game ID? I just have to show can you enable the share screen, please? Thank you. All righty. We'll play Gold Quest because this one's really fun. So Shosh, how many minutes do you think we should go for? Um, we can do, we start with four. Okay, sounds great. So we're gonna go for four minutes. Um, we're having trouble signing in. Do we have to log in or is there a... Oh, it should just... There's a game code, yeah. Um, hang on, I think we were on a login page, let me... Oh, okay. What's the game ID? One sec. Sorry, I'm I'm pulling it up. Yeah. All right. So game ID is up here. It is six one two six three five in the upper right hand corner. Oh, enter your nickname. All right, are we still waiting on anybody? Everybody? Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> we're ready to go? I think let's wait, like, let's say 10 more seconds and then we'll start the game. All righty, sounds great. And so how this game works, if no one has played Book It before, it's kind of like Kahoot, it's like trivia, like it'll ask you questions and then you pick, you pick the, uh, you guess whatever answer and then it'll ask you, I think we're doing the gold quest one, so it asks you to open a chest and you, you'll see how it works once you start, but you can like steal coins from people and um, uh, like, yeah, take coins from people and stuff like that.
Is everyone in? Speak now or forever hold your peace. All right. I believe we're set to go. All righty. So you'll have on your screen, it'll show up and you'll be able to pick the answer based on the four different answers you have for the question. So it'll give you like a word or something and you'll click the box with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and in third place, Hannah, in second place, Sunny, and in first place, Benji. Woo, nice job. Sure. All right. Is everyone good to play one more time? Awesome, all right. So it should be, I think it should just put us all right back in. Hopefully. Does anybody want a refresher on the words? Like if they got one wrong a bunch of times and they want to remember what it is, we got a lifeline right now. Feel free to open up your mic at all times in the game if you want to ask a little question, you know. Um, what's the idea? Oh, sorry. I've, I'm just pulling it up right now. So I will send it in the chat. All righty. Any other questions? We got the ID in the chat, 407446. All righty, are we waiting on anybody else or is everyone in? Per Renee's words, speak now or forever hold your peace. All righty, so we will start this game. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, final standings. Third place, Sunny. Second place, Clara. First place, Hannah. Woo, nice job. Okay, I was trying to play this music. Um, can you hear it? <laughs> I was trying to play it during the thing, but um, maybe now you can get get a taste of what what have been playing. <laughs> okay. Um, does anyone have any questions about any words or anything at all? We are here. Um, yeah, we will send, we can send the PowerPoint. You all got the email. Yeah. Um, so we'll send the PowerPoint so you can have it and look over it before camp if you want. Um, but if no questions about anything about Camp Hebrew, about camp in general, Courtney's in space, very exciting. <laughs> um yeah maybe before we leave um oh we have one more slide to show you all righty so our last slide so we just wanted to let you guys all know that at camp, like it's okay if you're not a pro at first and there's a kind of gradual shift to the Hebrew. So it's not like it's, you're gonna get there and you're gonna be like, what's everyone saying? I have no idea what's going on. And actually, I think when I started going to camp that this was one of the cool things that I could ask people and I could make friends asking people like, what does that mean? What did they just say? Where are we supposed to be? So don't worry, you can always ask for help and everyone's always really friendly. It can help you translate and figure out where you need to go. 
So thank you everybody for coming. We can't wait to see you at camp this summer. We're so excited and it's gonna be an amazing summer. It definitely is. <laughs> Sorry that we didn't unmute our microphone. We have kittens. That is okay. Your kittens look very cute. They're are they new kittens? Uh we got them a week ago and they're Siamese. Uh -huh. This little girl is the runt and she got her arm stuck in her collar again. Her name <laughs> is Jasmine. Aw. And this is the big one. You know, and I named him Lionel. These are here. Jasmine and Lionel. Those are great names. Oh, they're very cute. <laughs> they eat in the dining room, so that's why they're nearby. Because mm -hmm. we're that's why they're that's why they're nearby because we're working in the dining room. Mm, got it. And they really like to play in the living room. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait one second. Okay, well, have a great rest of your Sunday, everyone. Um, okay. And we will see you at, at Mahana at camp. Bye. 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 Take off your collar now. You can't hear anything.